All right, so in the previous uh, video, we saw how to push a small website to the internet and uh, using now. And um, the only thing is it pushed to a custom domain that you don't manage. So in this case, it's ratecalendar.arthurj.now.sh. Uh, basically, it's your project name, username, dot now dot sh and you may want to push to your own custom domain um, so it's very it's very easy using uh, now to just set up everything so you can use your own domain um, whether it's for just branding referencing or whatever um, you can use uh, now very very easily so you keep the effectiveness of the deployment, uh, the way that you don't have to manage servers yourself and you add your own custom domain. So if you want to manage um, mail servers and stuff, you can still do it uh, later on. And I'll show you in the next step actually. So I'm here in my red calendar and uh, what I will do is I will just add, uh, I will just add a new domain. So in my case, I just bought um, uh, a domain here, uh, and it looks like there is there are lots of su suggestions related to World of Warcraft. Uh, Classic looks to be huge, uh, so I just bought uh, the domain, and we'll see um, uh, we'll see uh, if there are other projects that I'm doing, and uh, we'll put everything there. So. What I'll do is I'll just say, for instance, um, calendar. Uh, so it's classictools.com. So in this case, I'm using a subdomain uh, because I plan to use more than one uh, project using this domain. Uh, but you don't have to uh, if you just uh, want to go straight up to the route um, or your main domain. Uh, you can do it, there's no need to do it. So in my case, I will add it. Uh, so I've already done, um, I've already done the um, configuration. So it's not gonna be too bad. Um, but what you, will, what you will do is when you just buy your, your domain, what's gonna happen is you always have like a, a lot of zone, uh, DNS zones are uh, pre-programmed uh, by your registrar. You want to remove everything and change the server. So you end the control of the domain to zite.co. Uh, so in this case, uh, you have like all of those DNS servers. Um, okay. So let me see how come there is invalid configuration. Uh, a site.co. Okay, so it's different ones. Okay, so um, I'll just grab those. So A is good. So it's very good. So we will see how those works. So actually, I'm just going to copy paste this to a notepad As you can see here and I'm gonna use those all right so a b c and f apply configuration okay so uh, so okay, I already have already done the, the deployment. I uh, used um, configuration from a different domain. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So this way, you'll see how it works when you change it. So now, what we have to do is wait because the propagation of the DNS uh, service can take in between three minutes to forty-eight hours. So. And it's over there. It's re it's really weird when it's like forty eight hours. Um, in my case, it usually takes about five minutes. So I'll just start a timer, and um, and we'll see how long it takes. And of course, I'm gonna 
jump cut hit that. All right, so timer, timer, four minutes, and the, um, the domain is now uh, verified by uh, Zyde.co. So it means we can use it uh, in all of our projects. So it works for all of the domain classicwowtools.com in this case, um, but we've attributed the subdomain calendar to this specific project. So if um, next week I want to use um, a different subdomain, all of this configuration will be already done. I just have to assign a different subdomain to that project. All right, so now we can see something very, very interesting is um, the way that we push. So if I look here, we have our own um, classic world tool, um, uh, our own uh, cu custom domain, sorry. So in this case, uh, well, I have a slight different thing, so I'm going to just push this to production uh, so we are actually okay on the right French okay so now what we'll see is um, a very very interesting concept is the ability to deploy either to production or to test things out to an intermediary server so it would be a staging server in this case so Let's say I want to change this title and uh, I want to call it uh, RAID uh, Scheduler. Okay, what I can do is I can just do the same that we did uh, in the previous video. So we can just say now. It will sync my file, uh, send it to Zy.co um, backend, build the project and deploy um, what I just said, send, and we'll see here, it's here, it's ready. I can visit it here on the dash now dash uh, dot now dot sh uh, domain. And this URL that we had uh, before is going to track always the latest deployment. Uh, so if you want to send uh, to your friends something that you tried and stuff, but you don't want to push to production yet, uh, you can use it uh, in this manner. If I look at my classic world tool and I refresh, I'm still on my previous version. So I can now here see here we have the latest push that we've done. And here is the latest time I called uh, now dash dash prod. So what you want to do if you want, uh, so you send this to your friend or your client or whatever, everyone agrees it's better, um, everyone is, is good. You can just say now, now dash dash prod. And that will push um, your code and deploy to the production branch. Um, so your custom domain will have that specific push. So now if I refresh, I now have red schedule. If you want to always push to, to the production, you can just change stuff and say my red scheduler. Okay. You save and you just say now dash dash prod and it will push to your production server. So we'll let it build. Building, building, building. All right. It is now ready. And you can see here it's pushed to calendar dot classic .com and also red calendar dot earth author j dot now that sh so here it is deployed to my custom domain and um yeah very very straightforward 
So in the next video, we'll see how you can use um, uh, the Zyde.co uh, domain management to add your own um, custom mail server, or if you want to use, uh, we're going to use Zoho, for instance, for this specific purpose, so we don't have to push too much in how to build a, a web server and stuff, but how you can redirect uh, any email coming to your custom domain to some places. And it's going to be quite easy as well. All right, see you in the next video. Cheers.